Well, hey there, how are you? I'm hungry. So, no, I'm not um, stopping at that McDonald's for a bite to eat. That's mostly for effect. Uh, the reason I'm hungry is I am attempting a change to my dietary intake. No, that does not mean I am going on a diet. As the title of the video may suggest, I am attempting to take on something called intermittent fasting. Let me briefly preface by saying that most of my adult life, I've been overweight. I was always a bit bigger growing up, but I was fairly fit in high school and within the first couple years of adulthood. But once I got into office jobs and sitting around a lot, not having a particularly active lifestyle, left me with less than exemplary physical condition. Now, something like seven years ago, I did get into a pretty extensive exercise regimen. I did do some interesting dietary things that got me down to better than my high school weight, but they were changes that weren't really sustainable. Eliminating carbs altogether and focusing on proteins and vegetables. Well, there are financial and frankly logistical decisions, especially when you're feeding an entire family. None of that really worked out. So here I am again at age 42 realizing that if I ever want to do things like, I don't know, get off of blood pressure medication, if I ever want to, I don't know, not have a dad bod, if I ever want to be able to stand in front of the camera full face and show you what I actually look like and not feel completely self-conscious about it, then I gotta do something. Enter intermittent fasting. So one of my employees at work, uh, he and his wife have been doing this for several months now and uh, it's, it's working for him. You know, uh, he told me recently that he's lost a decent little bit of weight. It definitely impacted things like his blood pressure and blood sugar and cholesterol and all that. But here's the basic premise behind intermittent fasting. Basically, the idea is you get to be hungry. So really, this is more psychological than anything else. The idea is that you are allowed to eat only during a certain period of a 24-hour day. So for example, you set yourself a parameter that says, I can eat during this six hour or eight hour window, your pick. I chose a six hour window. For the remaining, in my case, 18 hours of that 24 hour period, all I can have is like water or black coffee. Nothing with sugars, no actual caloric intake. Now that sounds a little extreme at first, and it really does. But when I stopped and thought about the logistics of it, the period of time that I chose was between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. What does that really mean? It means that, well, I'll continue to have the basic cup of coffee I have every single morning. I can't really say cup, it's more like a giant 32 ounce mug, but who's counting? And then I don't eat again until two o'clock in the afternoon. Now, right now, it is 11.45 a.m. This sucks, that's okay. Yes, I'm not having a traditional breakfast. We can argue about breakfast being the most important meal of the day, but frankly, when that tagline, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, was relevant, was about 100 years ago, when the average person in my country was not obese, when the average individual in my country worked outside all day or worked in a factory and had physical activity for the vast majority of their day, where children would not be sedentary sitting on their butts watching screens, they would be outside, they would be consistently engaged. So that said, if you have a particularly active lifestyle, you might not even need this intermittent fasting in the first place. But okay, so I don't get to have a breakfast other than the coffee. I don't get to have a lunch until two o'clock. That's really been the tough part psychologically. Now, between two o'clock and eight o'clock, uh, what I've been told and some of the research that I've done says that Essentially, I can eat whatever I want during that time. And in fact, uh, it's encouraged that when you start this, you do not change anything about what you actually eat. 
you can make those changes gradually once you get used to the idea that you're gonna miss lunch but going whole hog and cutting out too many fats and sugars or changing anything drastically from what you do now it's not really recommended this is gonna be enough of a shock to your system as it is because frankly what you're doing frankly what I'm doing is I am forcing my body into starvation mode for little chunks of time every single day. You definitely feel it again around 11 o'clock, 11.30, that wow, I'm missing something here. And I am retraining my metabolism by forcing it into starvation mode for that short two hour window of time. So it's at two o'clock that I have a reasonable basic lunch and no, today it will not be McDonald's. Now I've only been at this for three days now, so what I've tried to do is have some kind of a small reasonable snack in the afternoon somewhere in the 3 34 o'clock range or 4 30 i don't know i gotta i gotta figure that out but nothing too heavy maybe some nuts uh, maybe a piece of fruit or something um, and then having a normal dinner right the same exact dinner that i have any given night of the week with my family and that's usually around 6 30 but that means that if there's some kind of a dessert to go with this dinner i better have it before eight o'clock because guess what at eight o'clock i'm done there's no more eating for my day, that's it. So yeah, this is a bit of a hurdle. Now in terms of tracking the overall results, well, I'm more of an idea guy than an actual implementation guy. I got this great idea, but what I didn't really do was like step on a scale, because I kind of know, I already know. I'm, I'm basically about 250 pounds and I shouldn't be. I'm gonna go with that, right? And I'm gonna go with checking my blood pressure regularly and just generally how I feel. Clearly, this is not something that's for everyone, like I said, and I, at this point, three days in, I don't even know if it's for me, but I'm giving it a try. What I will say to you, of course, is before you start something like this, consult with your doctor. Make sure that you don't have some other kind of medical situation that is going to create bigger problems for you if you all of a sudden are shoving your body into starvation mode on a regular basis. But I'll check in from time to time, I suppose, and see how I'm doing. And you know, if I see drastic results and I think about it, I'll maybe turn the camera back on again and, and update you on this whole thing. So intermittent fasting, my friends, that's where I'm at right now. What about you? Have you always led a healthy lifestyle? Have you always been in great shape? If you are, thanks. Or have you tried and failed like myself and so many others to uh, maintain that healthy body weight and, and that uh, healthy metabolism that we all strive for? Let me know in the comments below what it's been like for you to try to control your food intake, control your body, and of course, any thoughts and feedback on this crazy experiment that I'm trying right now. That's it. That's all for today. Wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a great week and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Remember, my friends, always try to be nice. Never fail to be kind. It's not hard. And I thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the road.